Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to actually be unboxing and installing one of these things. This is a tiny little heads up display unit. Yeah, this is extremely small, so it's going to be interesting. Now, if you remember in a previous version, uh, we had this heads up display, a little bit bigger unit here. In comparison, you guys can see it's a pretty significant difference. So the new one is extremely small. It's probably about half the size and um, it's almost the same depth. But the nice thing about this one and the new version that I like is the uh, connection actually goes behind the little unit instead of on the side here like the old model does. So, but it uh, should be a pretty easy install. So as you can see that the you know, little unit just fits in there. And you can push it in a little bit, you know, further in so that way it's not sticking out like it is right now. But I just needed to be able to access it because I need to connect it to the wire. But basically, you know, if you're sitting in the driver's seat looking through the steering wheel, there it is, you know. So it's pretty, pretty tiny. So hope, but, you know, you should be able to visually see the information that you need. But first off, what we're going to do is remove this little side panel here. We're going to run the wire right in this gap here behind this panel here and then run it underneath the, the dash and behind some of this carpet down here, behind this panel here, and then run it along the side here up against um, the trim piece of the center console and make the connection um, behind the armrest. So I'm sure that was really hard to see because I was probably in the way, but it basically I ran that wire behind that panel and then went underneath the vehicle here, ran it underneath the carpet here, pulled off that little carpet side panel. And um, as you can see, here's the wire. We're going to keep moving along and, you know, put that wire behind some of the trim pieces here of the center console to be able to make that connection back here. Okay, so to remove this back section here of the armrest, it's actually fairly easy. And um, all you do is just literally put your hands about right here and you just pull slightly and it actually just pops off just like that. So as you can see, that, that was really easy to remove. And then right here, you just unplug that little connector there and that should be able to remove this piece of the um, of behind the armrest. And below where you access the connection here for your MCU, where you're going to make um, quite a bit of the connections, is you just simply use one of these plastic pry tools. And a lot of the kits come with this tool. So, But all you do is just slide it underneath the panel here. and then just pull slightly and as you can see it just literally pops right out and now you can access the connector right down here but before you do that before you disconnect this make sure you power down the vehicle okay so to power down the vehicle what we're going to do is hit the little 
car icon button down here, go into safety, scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see the power off button and you just want to hit power off. Pop-up window will come up and then you just hit the power off button. So one thing you want to do while you're doing any work or touching electronics and the car's power off is make sure you don't sit in the driver's seat and then keep the uh, driver door open. One other thing that's super helpful to give you a little bit more room is go ahead and get the seat um, moved forward. And it's basically just to be able to access um, behind the armrest, you know, a little bit easier. Again, with the power off, we're just going to make this discon disconnection right here, just like that. We're going to take the other end of our connector and uh, plug it right in. Okay, with the wires all tucked in, the connection made there, we're just going to reinstall this little cover panel and it simply just snaps back into place just like that. And we're done. Let's go check it out. There it is, guys. It's actually a little hard to see because it's a really small, but wanted to capture the actual uh, heads up display with um, my screen here so you could see that the mileage is um, matching up perfectly so and also when i put it in drive there was a little letter there indicating d for drive so it um it's really nice uh, it's uh it's a really small compared to the last version of the heads up display unit but as you can see right there in the center, it uh, works pretty well. Yeah, it, I mean, it's pretty difficult to try to capture this thing while I'm driving, but uh, you know, there it is about, I don't know, an inch long. And um, it, it's definitely fairly easy to see. Um, the sun's pretty bright right now, so it's it looks a little dull in the sun, but I promise you, you could still see it uh, pretty well. So yeah, there it is, parked in the garage, and you can see how how bright it actually really is. Um, and it's pretty neat. So it shows the the basically the battery life. So 71%, and it matches up with my 71% there on, on the screen. So really nice. So if you guys found this helpful, make sure you hit that like button down below, subscribe for more. And um, I'll put a link down in the description uh, so you can check this out for yourself um, by Tilliard. Um, so, you know, check it out, see what you think. I think it's pretty neat. Um, it's pretty helpful to have the, at least the, uh, m uh, you know, miles per hour you know, right in front of your face instead of having to look off here to the side. But, you know, it's uh, definitely good and, and provides um, good information. So with that, catch you guys in the next one.